Good morning, friends. Today is December 15th, I assume, Lori? I think you're right. Okay, I think I'm right, 15th December, but anyway, for sure it is Tuesday. I am at the base of Mount Chemniska with Lori. I'll ask him today's plan, but he asked me to lead him so he can see what I'm up to or my capabilities and he can plan better. But I'm gonna ask Laurie how he sees the day is gonna unfold. It's already past one and we have three hours of daylight left. Uh, but let's ask Laurie. Good morning or afternoon, Laurie. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm feeling good. What's the plan you think we are gonna do today? We're gonna hike till darkness and then okay. <laughs> turn around and descend with only one headlamp today. With only one headlamp? Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna hold your hand and then I should be safe. Or we've got um, almost a full moon. It'll be full on on okay. Saturday. Okay. So it's three quarters full. That should throw enough light out to illuminate our way down. Okay, well, happy to hear. Thank you, friends. I'll show you more as we go up. Wish us uh, your, all the best. Thank you for your blessings and wishes. Hello friends, so we are at the chimney, right up there. It took me 12 hours and 11 minutes to get here. Weather is quite cooperative, even though it's very cold. I'm gonna ask Laurie a couple of questions. Laurie, how was uh, my hike until now? Yeah, good pace, especially your sidestepping. Mm. You really got it. Okay. Um, we didn't need to stop but once, all the way up. Very good, excellent. And how's your uh, right foot? How's the heel? My right foot is doing very, very well. Good. I have some more questions. Thank you for noticing sidestepping and yep. I was gonna ask you in any way. But uh, there were a few sections when I did some rest steps as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know you noticed or whatever, but I didn't do it for long. Did you notice them or no? No. Okay, so we will ask that question later on. So two hours, 11 minutes, and I Good did time. 560 meters. How would you assess this pace for my average training? It's a, it's a good pace. If we can maintain this type of ascent rate okay. for what we're doing yeah. in the next month, yeah, that'll be excellent. excellent. Okay, this will be sufficient for average training? Well, what we're averaging yeah. is 900 to 1,000 feet per hour. Yes. That's what you want. Oh, very happy to hear. How can I improve? Uh, I Not just uh, in my, um, just looking at my last session or section, you know, until now in the last two hours, what are some of the things you notice that I should have done differently to become a better hiker or better prepared for Everest? Lengthen your poles. Lengthen my poles. Repeat to yourself, head up, shoulders back, chest out. Stand up straighter okay. as you're moving. So the weight of your body is coming straight down onto your legs and then onto your feet. Okay. Your sidestepping is good. Mm -hmm. Pay attention, that makes it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. But a more erect body. More now, erect body. easier for me to say, my pack doesn't weigh as much as yours. So. There's oh, that yeah, I forgot that you made me carry such a heavy load today. That's right. 35 pounds plus, but I'm very happy. And thank you for the suggestion. I'll keep that in mind. So to do that rate up to here mm. with that pack, especially since you haven't done a lot in the last two and a half months when mm -hmm. you were recuperating from the infected heel, mm -hmm. that's excellent. Okay. If we do something with a lighter load, you know, really trim it down to just the essentials. Mm. We'll be up to a thousand feet per hour and we'll maintain that throughout the day. Oh, wow, nice. Uh, how far are we gonna go today? It's so it starts ten. getting dim and then we're gonna practice coming down with only one headlamp. Yeah, so how far are we gonna go? I think we'll go to the slope that Bree and Andrew Brash and I turned around on when it became avalanche prone. Okay. I want to see if you can assess it correctly. Okay. I think that's 40 minutes from here. Okay, why not? Last question. Um, my mom thinks very highly of you, as you know. A message for my mom. How uh, do I pronounce her first name? Tara. Sara? Tara. Sara. Ta. Sara. T as in tango? Tara. Sara. 
Tera. Tera. All right, continue. <laughs> Tero, your son is uh, working conscientiously at perfecting the techniques, the fitness level, and the intelligence for going to a mountain as big as Everest. He's learning more each time he goes out. His leg is healed up properly now that we can back up, get back onto a full training. And my belly is healed up from the appendicitis that I went through three weeks ago. So you can dream um, safely and contently because Gedish is getting ready the way he should be getting ready for this mountain. And I'll be watching out the whole time and helping him with every step of the way. Thank you so much, Laurie. I'm going to my hands in the glass. Hey, you friends. You clear off the area you're going to be climbing up on to see where your footholds are. So Laurie is just showing me how to attempt the chimney section and how to clear the snow in the front first before you take the step. And please don't attempt unless you are accompanied by someone like Laurie or you know what you're up to. Look at this. He's actually on his, his knees trying to Make sure that he, Laurie, you don't have to, I know that, uh, who am I to guide you or even mention any comment. So Laurie has just settled his foot, but he was on his knee. And then look at his steps. I wish I can show you how hard it is to even try. So once I'm in the gully, yeah. I break the snow with my knee. Okay. And then, bring my foot up, you consolidate it. Yeah. Laurie is saying that once he's, the, he's in the gully, he breaks the snow with his knees before he takes the next step. And sorry guys, seriously, my hands are freezing. But I, want, I am trying to capture it. So he's right there. Okay, get it via your glove. It's really, really hard. And you know, guys, Laurie is the legend. He has done Yamnuska more than 2,000 times. And, of course, what am I doing here? I'm trying to make a video which is justifying the challenge required in the... See, he hasn't finished it. And in summertime, this section would take like maybe a couple of seconds. I mean, for people like Laurie. So... there so he made it okay, how was it Lori? You, is it easier for me now yeah seriously yeah because i've removed a ton of snow okay we'll see when you get in there okay guys Lori has asked me to attempt so wish me luck suggest you leave your pack there okay i'm gonna leave my pack behind pack thanks bye hey, hello friends i'm so so very happy that i was able to break my fear to pass the chimney which is right here and look at the sunset happening in the background it's gonna get dark very very soon and laurie is gonna call it a day and this is our summit for the day i really really wanted to thank laurie for everything i'll ask laurie if he wants to add anything laurie thank well, you so you much you got us up here goodish you guided us today so no, good work you were right behind me making sure that I don't make any mistakes. So I do want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, what You're you do for me. But remember, it's not over till we're back in the car. Of course, I you always have forget to safely that get part. down. Yeah. Like my mom says, I need to return to her. So yes, yes you are right. So we're gonna return safely. And I do want to thank you one more time. This is up here and I'm gonna show That's you where- That's the summit over there. Yeah, where right the clear sky, is yeah. pointing. That's the summit. Well, 
And Lottie says this snow is not good for us. He actually showed us. And I'm just gonna capture whatever he's showing me through his footsteps. Look, look how the whole thing moved. See? Oh, look at this. So if you have a slope oh, like this look. and it breaks off, it is dangerous. And wind just picked up, guys. Yeah. So perfect timing for us to return. By the way, I need to make a confession, not confession, uh, acknowledgement that I chose to return before the chimney. I proposed it and Lori was kind enough. He says, let's return. But then he says, can he make an attempt to pass the chimney? And of course, he's such a smart guy. He doesn't let others feel what's coming. So thank you, uh, Lori, for breaking welcome, the chimney. welcome, you did fine in the chimney. You did just fine. Just because of what you taught me. I wish I could have captured that in video, but I'll include that in my realizations later. Thank you one more time. You're welcome. Hello friends, I'm just gonna show you how bright moon is like. It's just like the sun for the night. Look, Lori is gonna go into the open area and you can see his shadow. See, <laughs> that's how bright the moon is today. And it's not full moon yet, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Suddenly you see that you are in a bright area because the moon is just shining up there. Otherwise it's completely dark, but you can see Lori's shadow all the way here pretty nice i really want to thank the moon for showing us the path yes, thank indeed. you yes indeed thank you lori yeah, to you as well this is again lori walking in the moonlight this is how bright the moon is today. Look around over here. We are not even using our headlamps. That's how bright it is. Thank you again, moon. Hi friends, uh, let me start by showing you the temperature outside. <laughs> okay, do you guys see? This is minus 20 degrees in the car area, like parking area on the mountain, it would have been different. The moon is out. Surprisingly, I'm not feeling much cold, so I'm quite happy. And this is uh, Laurie, I'm gonna ask him about the day. How are you feeling, Laurie? I'm feeling fine. It was a good day. We had uh, uh, decent weather going up. It was, yeah. uh, I think, 12 below when we started. 16 below. 16, 20 when we finish. Uh, we came down in darkness by moonlight. Yeah. It all worked out very well. I feel good about the day. You, you set the pace for going up and you set a good pace. Mm -hmm. We hit all our marks on the way up. Yeah. And uh, I think the cold surprised us both a bit. It was really cold up there. Yes, it is. So, um, I won't take much of your time. Uh, when we were descending, um, uh, what do you think of my descent rate today and how I can make it better next time? Well, you asked me for some suggestions at yes. the beginning. I gave you some suggestions and I wasn't going my max speed, but there was no need to go max speed. I was going at a good speed down and you yeah. were maintaining pace with me all the way down. So okay. you're improving on your, your downward pace okay. going downhill. Okay. Uh, all I would say to improve it is adjust the length of those poles so they can allow you to stand up straight okay. as you're going down and remember to lean forward just slightly so your point of balance is on the ball of your feet as ball you're going down my feet. and then okay. you're able to maneuver a lot more quickly. Uh -huh. But I was watching you and you were doing absolutely fine. All it's going to take is just more practice. That's all. Yeah. I promise I'm going to practice. And as I much will as too. I can. Thank you so much, Laurie, for the day. You're welcome. It was a good day. Okay. Thank you. Bye.